So, you want new furniture, but can't afford to pay? No problem. Just rent to own. And if you can't afford it, when they come looking, make sure it's all used up. And maybe set it on fire. Or put your food in it, even better don't be home when they come to collect. Welcome to Small Claims Court. Aaron Sales and Lease versus Nathan Pierce. Are you Rogelio Segundo? Yes. And what's your position with Aaron's? Customer account manager. Would you please raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm any testimony you're about to give in this matter will be true to the best of your knowledge and belief? I do. This is a claim for $1,530 and one cent. Um, I can't remember what it was that was rented. I can't tell from the contract. Yeah, it was a sofa. And the dog destroyed it? Yeah, his dog destroyed it and then he threw it outside and uh, according to him, he set it on fire and told us uh, not to come back on his property. Does he go to Michigan State? Uh, I'm not sure. They're famous for setting couches on fire. <laughs> um, all right, I find by default that he owes $1,536.01 plus court costs of $64.17 for a total of $1,600.18. The next one is Aaron's Sales and Lease versus Gloria Laster and Chelsea Kloss. Mr. Segundo, you're still under oath. Let me take a moment. Yeah. This is a claim for $6,043.41 plus costs. We have certified mailing service on both Ms. Laster and Ms. Kloss. Uh, they refused to return the property or make payment and they destroyed a television. Um, anything been recovered or paid on this? Uh, none of it. Uh, we go out to the house. She said she won't return the tablet because her daughter uses it. Uh, we go try to pick up the refrigerator. There's food in it. She said she's not returning it. And she won't return the lawnmower because she can't open up the garage door. And the TV was destroyed and she threw it in her yard. Said a uh, neighbor kid did it, but I'm pretty sure it was her dogs. Well, this looks like a bad deal all the way around. Now, yep. they own the stuff, but they owe you $6,043 plus 98 cents and 34 cents for a judgment of $6,141.75.
PS, people rent property, and there's a crime called fail to return rented property that nobody charges anymore, but it's still on the books. Um, but you have a civil judgment amount of six thousand one forty one seventy five. Um, Mr. Vance, would you come up and have a seat right here? Sir, um, my wife, I usually take care of the financial part. She can come to. Oh. All right, four down, sir. two to go. I'm going to unlock the... Uh, This is one of the screwiest cases I've seen in a while. And let me just say what I know about it. Uh, this is entitled Aaron Sales and Lease versus Michael Vance. That's you, sir? Yes, sir. And what's your name, ma'am? Sarah Vansley. Would you both please raise your right hand? You swear or affirm any testimony you're about to give here will be true to the best of your knowledge and belief. Yes, sir. Mr. Segundo, you're already under oath. Mr. and Mrs. Vansley, you heard me go through the breakdown of how small claims works. You agree to go forward in this case? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. This is a claim for $5,603.96. Um, the Vansleys claim that Alex Bennett came over to their house in February, stole his rooster, uh, gunned his van all over the place. Alex Bennett does not have a valid driver's license, did not have a valid driver's license at that time. In fact, had a valid warrant for his arrest. He had been AWOL for about two years uh, and got back in contact with the court. I'm not sure what the status of that case is still pending, but I do know he doesn't have a valid driver's license on February 22nd, 2023. So they're claiming all kinds of misbehavior. Uh, and this has to do with some rented property that they can't afford. Uh, so on option, now, that what they said in their answer, and this is quite common, they offered to return the property. And they say, Aaron says, we don't want you to return the property. We'll refinance the deal so you can afford it and keep it. Uh, so they tried to do that, and they still couldn't afford it. Uh, what is the property at issue? It's, it's a bunch of stuff, mattresses and dryers and fireplace and uh, a lot of things. All right, thanks. Yeah, I did that on his own. Uh, Rui Leo, what is that issue here? So what I, happened was originally it was in Sarah Bansley's name. They couldn't make payments because they got COVID. They were good customers. We definitely wanted to help them out. But uh, he lost his business. She got COVID. We retyped it, lowered the payments in her name. They got COVID again, lost his business, wasn't working. We decided to put it in his name, lower the payments again. And then uh, they kept coming in with short payments. And it got to the point where, you know, I was helping them out as much as I could. You can even see the payment history and how many extensions I gave out. But uh, they could never make a full monthly payment on the account. And it got to a point where I just had to tell them if they don't come in with the full monthly payment, we have to return it. We scheduled two returns two times, weren't home on those dates. After that, we kept coming out to the house numerous of times. They wouldn't uh, answer the door. So, I mean, it just got to the point where they just wanted to keep the stuff without making any payment instead of short payments. So what do you say to that? You've got, a, well, is all this stuff in here? A queen mattress, a bed cover, box springs, twin beds? Gas range, washer dryer, yep, washer all that stuff dryer, is fireplace, mattresses. So you've got all their stuff, and you're not making any payments. And they tried to steal your rooster. So, sir, we uh, I set up a payment arrangement. Um, 
and we also set up a time for them to come out and get their stuff. They showed up to get their stuff, and they wanted to throw an excuse where they didn't want to take it. Well, we we don't really want it back. We want to, you guys to pay the payment. So we set up a agreement right in my back door of my house that I would be in to pay, what was it, $159. Um, we went up there to make the $159 payment, and they would not take our payments. Um, so then we returned back home. The next day they came out. Um, we weren't home. They left a note on the door. And you can go ahead and talk Then to after us. that, the, the contact stopped. For, um, well, you got all their stuff. And you can't pay on your contract. So he, Sir, we were paying on our contract. he characterized it as helping you out. You characterize it in they didn't want to take the stuff back. Well, they don't take mattresses back. But the stove and the washer and dryer and those things could have been returned. But you rented a whole bunch of stuff. That yes, sir. We have all brand new stuff in our house. Well, um, what you can't afford. We, uh, we were doing fine paying the bill without a problem. Um, and then it got to be where we got, got COVID. I was down at the foundry, got COVID, um, stuff went downhill for us. You know, we also had stuff through rent -a center at the same time, made our payments fine to them. You know, we had to pay a little bit each week to catch them up, catch them up. We did. We're 100% square with them. Um, just like I tried to do with them, you know, right, well, it's going to take you tell me bit. about this. Alex coming out there and stealing your rooster, and I'm not even trying to get my head around it. First of all, Rogelio, does Alex Bennett work for you again? No, he was fired immediately. We, When we found out about it, we called him up. We told him to return the rooster right away. We spoke with Sarah. We apologized. You know, we don't condone that kind of behavior. He was fired immediately, and we told him we don't want to hear from him ever again. He had worked here previous before. We did ask you him to help us out. a couple of times before. <laughs> yeah, but after this last behavior, we, we will never be hiring him back. Do you do anything to vet your drivers and make sure they actually have a driver's license? Yeah, we uh, run their IDs through our insurance. Well, he did not have a valid driver's license in February of 2023. Yeah, we're aware uh, of it now. All right, well, I'm not sure how that plays into anything, but uh, it certainly is very unprofessional. Um, I don't know what the heck uh, to make of that. But anyway, you've got all this stuff, and I'm going to set your payment at what they set it at, $159 per month. You own it now. We tried to return their stuff multiple times. Well, we have it on uh, recording. Well, that we they tried say to they it. came to get it, and you weren't there. And signal anyway, you've got it now. Uh, they don't want to return. You sign these contracts that you can't pay. You owe five thousand six hundred three dollars and ninety six cents plus eighty four seventeen in court costs. I don't even know what to do about a stolen chicken that was recovered. Fifty six eighty eight thirteen in installments of one fifty nine. Was that the amount? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Per month. We tried to make that payment and they would not accept that payment from us. And then we told them to come and get our stuff before any of this even happened. And they would not come out and return or re come get any of their stuff. Well, as I indicated, some of it is not returnable mattresses. Yes. Yes, sir. We knew all that. But it's all yours now. And uh, a great big pile of stuff. And then you ran the stuff from another place, too. So you've got all brand new stuff. Um, and at any rate, you own it. And you owe them 5688 So what are we going to do about this uh, rooster deal and him tearing my yard up and about running my daughter over? Uh, you, there, that isn't a compensable loss in small claims court. Um, you know, we have, we have good money in those roosters. That, that is our well, family pets but, and stuff. And, but you got it back. You didn't lose it. Yeah, and my daughter about got ran over by a car. Yeah, and a rooster and, okay, back, you know? that may be a crime. He about hit her with the van. He All backed right. into her. Again, and that isn't, there's no money amount attached to that. It might be a tort. 
intentional infliction of emotional distress or something like that. But you can't sue for that in small claims court. You can sue for money damages. Um, so you got your rooster back. He certainly was very unprofessional. He doesn't have a valid driver's license. He's out there as their representative of their company for whatever reason, stealing your chicken. He has an open warrant for his arrest for being AWOL for two years. He's got no valid driver's license. So your prize is you get all this stuff at $159 a month, which is going to take five years to pay this off. Uh, but I'm not awarding anything for your rooster or his bad driving. The thing is, is we tried to give them their stuff back, their I washers, their dryer, their, all that stuff, and they would not take it back. So I don't understand why we're stuck with paying this. We told them you that entered we into a contract it. to buy this stuff, and you got in over your head, and a lot of people got COVID, and a lot of people lost work. So you got a brand new washer, a brand new dryer, a brand new uh, stove, a bunch of beds and mattresses and other furniture that you've had the benefit of utilizing and not making any payment for some time to say we offered to give it back. Well, there's two different versions. His version is we came multiple times to get it. Your version is we weren't home. I do believe you that you wanted to give it back right at the get go. Um, we have it on video and I don't I already, I already believe you um, rather than take the property return they say well we try to work with these people and rewrite it because they don't want it returned particularly the mattresses anyway you got it it's all yours you got to pay $159 per month um, and May we start that in June, sir? Yes, starting June 1 of 2023 is what it says. I'll have the bailiff take you out to the counter and get a copy of that. And um, Louis Leo, I don't even yeah. know what to make of this, but um, you got some very dissatisfied customers here. Uh, you all the stuff that we got from them, the washer, the dryer, none of that stuff even works. That's why we wanted to give it back to you because we were having nothing but problems with it. Well, we got stuck with all of it, you know. I guess so. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, Mr. Schulke, will you come up and have a seat? And that ends our small claims court for today with the rent to own folks. As you can see, they all still have their stuff. Yes, some stuff is burnt, and some sounds like it doesn't work anymore, but they all feel very smart even when in the end they will all pay the man. Thanks for watching Crime Time. I am Celestia Doting Hostess with the Mostest.